Hello and welcome to CP Van. Today I'm going to show you how to pair your door window sensors to the CP5 alarm panel and over here at the door, how to attach it to the door and only make it trigger off once you've um, armed the CP5 panel and entry has been attempted. Is you've got your door and window sensor. Both these units have a little tiny triangle logo just here and there. These need to be married together when you install. Don't have them far away and don't have them upside down. There is a small leeway, but you could always test trial and error before you peel the sticker and secure it. And what you do is, before you start, can you see here, there's a little plastic tab. You need to remove that from the battery that's only been inserted there at the factory to preserve the battery life during storage. So that comes off. And then you pull the little plastic tab away, making sure your battery is in the right position. And close the cap. And to test if there's a light. So to remember what I told you about the two triangles, put them together. When I move them away, you can see a light. So that means these two units are ready. And now we shall move on to the CP5 panel. So now we're at the CP5 panel. And uh, what you need to do is you need to tap in your generic password. I've got it set on the generic to show you what it's like. 0808 is a standard generic and then what you do is you go down to number 5 device set zone 1 which is at the top number 1 enter and, oh, and then you want a wireless register so enter learn by code enter and what zone would you like in so for us I'm going to find an empty zone 4 and I'm going to select it. Start enrolling. Start enrolling. Transmit. So what you do now is you put the two units together. Let go. Enrolling success. Enrolling success. So now you want to save ID. Change the name. So you might want to call it kitchen. So I put kit. It's K I T space is zero. I'll put kit B, not kit number two, and then enter. So now in zone four, when you press enter, it's called kit two, so you know which wireless is which. You, if you do need to delete, at least you're not going to delete the wrong one, so you know which ones you're going to be deleting. And that is the register to pair up with the CP5. Pair over the CP5, and let's move over here. Just forget that's there at the moment. And imagine that I've just used that paired up window door uh, uh, sensor, and I stick it on just like that. And if you therefore open the door, and it triggers the CP5 panel, beep, 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 and you're thinking, what's going on? I didn't want it to work that way. You know, I've not even armed the unit, and why is it set off? So this is the next step I will show you. And now we're back at the CP5 panel, so now that you're wondering, I didn't even arm the device, I open the door and it triggers a sensor, and the alarm panel or the outdoor siren goes off. What do I do? What have I done wrong? And what you need to do is you need to go out. And then you want to go to your zone, which is number one. And then you want to go to number three, set zone type. So zone type. So let's have a look. So you might want to set it as you've got like options of making an entry exit. 
You want it to be as a perimeter or zone. So why does it go? So zone four at the moment, which is the one that I've just programmed, is panic. So we don't want that. So go into hash. So remove it from panic. You might want to make it into an entry, entry exit or an active. So active is when you open a door each time, it'll make a noise. So that's good for shopkeepers and things like that. So, but what we need is we will use it as a, an entry and exit. So once you've selected that option and then just backspace to get out of that menu, that means that alarm now, once you've, that means that alarm now, when you open the door, it will not trigger the siren here or the siren outside. It will only trigger it off once you've armed the device and you leave the building. So this is today's little lesson. Thank you very much. See you again next time.